Alright, I believe this is the last video of the evening, so I figured I'd start it off by giving you guys a riddle. Taxi driver was called to take a group of passengers to the train station. The station is normally an hour away, but with heavy traffic, it took a full hour and a half. On the return trip, the traffic was still as heavy, and yet it took only 90 minutes. Why? Pause the video. Here comes the answer. I wonder if I got any of you. Be honest. Be honest. I got you, didn't I? I got you. An hour and a half and 90 minutes. It's something about the way our brain processes that that causes you to not realize that right away. But anyway, there you go. Be honest. Tell me tomorrow or Wednesday if I got you on that one. Okay, well here we go, last three, x equals y squared. So I just want to make sure you had a taste of what it looks like and what, it, what you have to do if you have to integrate with respect to y. And let's set up these integrals before we punch them into the calculator. Okay, so x equals y squared from 0, 0 to 4, 2, because it's not so obvious always. It doesn't seem like it's obvious when we... Uh, integrate with respect to y. But nevertheless, we're trying to find the length of the curve, length of this this curve from, um, from 0, 0 to 4, 2. And um, if we're integrating with respect to y, then we're going to take the y coordinates, okay, 0, 0 to 4, 2. 0 is the lower of the two, and 2 is the higher of the two. So we um, we'll make sure we put those in the right order. If you happen to get a negative number, then, uh, then you probably should check your limits of integration out first. And we remember that the formula holds true whether it's an x or a y. So the equation or the formula for the length of a curve, integral from 0 to 2, radical 1 plus f prime of y squared dy. Okay, so 0 to 2. and this is a this is an easy one, relatively easy to find the um, find the derivative of. So we might as well go ahead. Two uh, y squared goes there, and we can leave it like that. Okay. And so when you use your calculator, you should get punching. I'm just going to punch in the same the y one the same way I've been punching it in. Oh, so that's right. So y one then instead of it being x equals y squared, we're going to type it in as if it's y equals x squared. Okay. Now, the, the, what I want to caution you about doing, I want to caution you about changing your limits of integration when you're changing your y1 to x, you know, to something involving x. Okay. This is your integral. Okay. From 0 to 2 of 1 plus 2y quantity squared. Right. So your calculator, you can't plug in a y. So we're just going to plug in the same exact integral, but we're going to replace the y with an x. Okay, we've done that over and over again. But I, I've noticed that when students on the calculators will replace that with an x, they think they have to change these limits of integration. But, but the, you don't. Okay, because remember, that variable right there, that could be z, could be could be anything, okay? Could be any of the letters of the alphabet. So um, we're going to use a convenient letter, all right? So if you just look at that the right way, that should not be a problem. And again, we just type in y1 equals x squared. And if we're using our calculator, y1 equals x squared, we still have that y2 conveniently located right there. And maybe for the AP exam, you let your y not more than likely you're not even going to have to do this. You're going to, this is going to be a multiple choice problem and you'll, uh, you know, you'll um, just have to look at the answers and, and you won't even have to type it into the calculator. But to be on the safe side, just go ahead and leave that y9 in there as, as uh, you know, as, as this square root that we normally let equal this, the 1 plus derivative, you know, the way we've talked about. Okay. So um, maybe just uh, plug that into your calculator and leave it there. So uh, what are we doing here? Math 9? I kind of got sidetracked. So 
we, we um, math nine, and that would be our y two, comma, x, comma, and we're going from zero, comma, to two, and that's it. So the so you can see it's four point six four seven. Okay, four point six four seven. 4.647, and that's our answer there. Okay, well, if you want to try these other two, go right ahead and uh, pause the video. I'll just type them in as if you didn't pause the video. So x equals ln y, so I'm going to type in ln x, and, and we're integrating from 0, 1 to, yeah, it's always easier for me if I see it. 0, 1 to 1 e. So I'm going to go 1 to e. e is bigger. So, um, you know, like just, I'm going to type in y1. I'm going to put in y2 dy. Yeah, okay, we know what that means. Okay, so second quit and second entry. We're going from 1 to e. So I'm going to change that 0 to 1 there, and I'm going to change that to an e. Use the E where the division symbol is because then you don't have an exponent. Okay, and let's get that to where you can see it. 2.003. Okay. Is about 2.003. I think it's kind of cool. When you get the right answer and you're watching me write down the answer that's exactly yours to three digits after the decimal. Okay. Finally, x equals 2 times y to the 2 thirds, and we're going to integrate with respect to y, so we know that we're going to be going from 1 to 8, 1 to 8 of um, y2 dy, okay? And so, typing it in, y equals 2 times x raised to the 2 thirds power, 2 divided by 3. Okay, just double check. Go to math or uh, second entry. We're going to be integrating from 1 to 8. Enter, and we have 9. something soon. Voila! 9.258. 9.258. There you go. I will see you in class either tomorrow or on Wednesday. Have a great night, guys. See you later.